Well, good afternoon. You're a lucky person and don't deserve this. Those are the words from Wayne County Judge Daniel Barrett this morning before he sentenced Debron Bowler. Bowler will receive one to three years in prison per his plea deal. Bowler is the first person to be sentenced in the deaths of Joshua Niles and Amber Washburn. A deal was made with Bowler before fellow defendant Timothy Dean's trial. The prosecution thought it was in the best interest of the case. In court, Joshua Niles' mother spoke before sentencing this morning, asking Bowler directly why he did not stop them, them being uh, Dean and Charlene Childers, from murdering her son and Washburn, pointing out that as a police officer from Texas, he was supposed to protect and serve. Washburn's parents stood behind the prosecutor who read a letter to Bowler on their behalf and a letter from her sister as well. In that letter, it said Bowler could have stepped up and stopped the crime. Children will not have their parents and they will be in therapy for a long time. They have been uh, involved in the case since October when the murders happened. They've made every court appearance. Uh, we've had several meetings. They've been involved in any plea agreement. Uh, they sat through the entire trial. So today to have it come to this conclusion, at least for one of the defendants, is a very difficult procedure for them and process that they're going through. So to be able to speak on their behalf is something I was proud to do and um, to give their words to him, to let him know the impact that he really had on these families is important. I hope every day for the rest of your sentence, for the rest of your life, that you wake up and feel the pain, <coughs> anguish, and grief that the Amber the Washburns and the Lance family feels. Judge Barrett clearly upset over this plea deal. Evidently, he wanted Bowler to spend additional time in prison, but said in court, a deal is a deal. Charlene Childers seen here sentencing slated for her at the end of the month. She pleaded guilty to manslaughter in this case. As for Dean, his sentencing is next month. He was convicted of murder by a jury.